guys, welcome back. Um, Gia is still here on the show with us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to do our Q&A with Gia. And today's topic is songwriting, because mm. she's pretty much an expert. At least I think she's pretty much an expert. Thank you. She writes beautiful songs. Um, like she said, she's a happy girl with sad songs. And her songs have so much um, substance and feeling in them. And I really think that um, she would be a great person to give some advice to anybody out there that wants to know more about songwriting. So, Gia, basically, that's all you're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, I just have a few questions, and um, maybe somebody watching can learn something from that. I hope so. So, yeah, and then if you guys do have any questions for Gia, please ask us in the description comments below, and uh, Gia will hop on maybe and see if she can answer you. I mean, if not, why not? If not. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, my first question is, mm -hmm. how often do you write songs? Like, oof. Almost every day. Really? Yeah. It's, it might not be a full song. Okay, okay. That I, was going to be my next yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I always have, I'm always writing something. Two, yeah. two things that I pretty much do every day is read poetry and write songs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, poetry is just, it's so beautiful and it gives you so much inspiration. Really and you does. can actually see it in your songs, Aww, in the lyrics. Because, you. you know, it's not just a disposable lyric no. when, you, when you read them. Yeah. It's got a meaning. It does. And I love that. Okay, so you write every single day. I do. Hectic. Yeah. Okay, okay. So my next one is, what is the process that you mm. follow when you mm. have to do that? Because, I mean, I for me, I struggle so much. So mm. I have to, like, really get in the zone. I and see. Have, like, music. That yes, I yes, have yes, to write yes, lyrics yes. to. What is the process for you? I'm definitely more lyrically driven than I am um, melody okay. driven. Um, so I know some people prefer to hear the melody. Yeah, and write yeah. Words over it. I'm much more, I hear the lyrics kind of with the melody. It'll just yes. pop into my head. That's I'll so be cool. driving, I'll be washing the dishes, I'll be sitting, um, or I'll be reading poetry. And so kind of the lyric um, kind of just drops yeah. into my head. I go to my piano. And I just start writing. I just I so play that's your with the superpower. <laughs> like lyric girl, she just has them instantly. Yeah, it's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I really enjoy it. It's just it's just it's really relaxed. So it's it's very organic. I just I hear the lyric, uh, an, an idea, a concept. I go to the piano. I find a chord progression that yeah. kind of works, and I just build the song from there. I love that you said it's organic. It's like yeah. it's just it just happens. It does. It really and does. I think it should be like that. When it's yeah. forced, it's usually. Um, not to insult anybody, but it's usually not that great yeah. because, you know, you're forcing something that shouldn't be there. Yeah, I think also, I said earlier, music was always a passion first and a yeah. career later. And I think that's always stuck with me, the yeah. fact that I have to write something because I want to tell a story. Yeah. That's kind of just how it works for you me, not because I have to just write for the sake of writing, yeah. because then, you know, there's no, it where's the heart behind it? Yes, it. Yeah, yes. definitely. I totally yeah. get that. Yeah. All right, so the next question I have for you, mm. um, which kind of goes in with this one, mm. um, is there a specific inspiration for you? What is that inspiration? Mm, mm. Um, or is it like you just said, it's just something that comes to you? Um, I think it's a little bit of everything. Sometimes I'm like, how did I think of that? I'm busy like <laughs> brushing my hair or, what, you know, like taking my brother to school. And I'm like, what is, why is this? In? But it just happens. So sometimes I'm yeah. like, where did this come from? Um, but I run with this. Or I'll be listening to artists that I love that make me feel... Um, inspired yes. and kind of in that headspace or reading poetry I'll see something and, and really connect with it and want to capture the because I know of it. I know from your time here in the studio yeah. you actually said you know because I I said you write these beautiful love songs and some of them about heartbreak yeah. and some of them yeah. about like yeah. really love and you have you you said you hadn't experienced it it's just something you wrote I and I was I was so taken aback uh, by that because I'm like how do you write something so meaningful yeah. from something that you haven't experienced yeah. I think I'm, I'm a people watcher. <laughs> I'm, I'm observant. If you see something in the bushes, <laughs> it's Gia. Beware. So Be warned. I'm watching it. <laughs> I, okay, yeah. I know that makes me sound a little bit scared. Okay, wait. But I don't mean it like that. No, though. no, no. Continue. But I think it's, I, I'm quite observant. And so I pull inspiration from from different aspects of my life, from yeah. people, from experiences that I may not have lived through, yeah. but I put myself in people's shoes. Yeah, and you I think, you that. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I totally get it. So, They'd call you an empath, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, you just feel. Uh, what people are feeling and you just 
make these beautiful songs. Thank It is a superpower, right? <laughs> right? Okay, cool. Um, another question. Mm. Um, what do you do? This is, this is probably the most important question. Okay, no pressure. What do you do when you want to write something? And like you said, you don't necessarily finish the song. Right. You've got writer's block. Right. What would be your process to trying to complete the song? Or, mm. um, you know, just get that spark going again? That's a really good question. I think, first and foremost, I don't allow myself to think of it as writer's, writer's block. block. Yeah, because then because it's like, Because as soon oh! as it's like, you know, you, you feel this anxiety and this pressure to yeah. write something. Um, I think it, it does take away from uh, the spontaneity yes. and the sincerity of yeah, what the song yeah, could totally. be. Yeah, totally. But what I do do is I'm not afraid of, okay, I, I thought of this, I'll write this down, I'll leave this here. I'm not afraid to leave and come back to it. Yeah. And just naturally, um, I think through time and through it being in the back of my mind, which is why I always write it down, yeah. it's always there, I come back um, and then I, I feel and inspired. And you I don't feel, force anything, exactly. like you said. You yeah. kind of just, it's, it's, it's your passion, it's yeah. not your work. Yeah, and um, I think also if you're trying, because for me, what I try to do with songwriting is very much capture um, an emotion yeah. or the essence of an experience. And if I'm struggling to find creative ways to go about doing that, yes. I will use poetry and music um, and kind of almost follow the trail of, yes. oh, they, they did a really good job of capturing this and I want to share this. So, you know what nice. I mean? Surrounding yourself with, with that specific inspiration that's, that's really clever. helps. clever. So yeah. you kind of just surround yourself with all of the talent from, from poetry and yes. from other artists yes. that you love. And then yes. something might get sparked yes. there. That's a good idea, guys. So yeah. if you feel like you have writer's block or... Uh, let's not call it writer's block. Let's say when you feel like you're stuck, yeah. uh, surround yourself with things that you like. Poetry, other songs that yeah. you like, artists. You want to write like. a heartbreak song? Yeah. Just, you know, read Go through. listen to all of the There music. we go. There we go. Repeat. There we go. Repeat. <laughs> okay, that, that's a good one. Okay, cool. And then um, one last thing. Mm. How do you choose your genre that you are writing Ooh. for? Or is it something that you actually choose? Do you just write your song and it yeah. happens to be that genre? Yeah. Or do you have a specific genre in mind that you want to stick to? I think I'm still such a newcomer that I'm still very much figuring out where it is that yeah. I um, belong and what my sound is. But I think I have an innate kind of direction. Yes. Um, I'm always going to be kind of contemporary soul, acoustic yes. pop. That's kind of where I always head yeah. and gravitate towards. Um, but... I'm definitely not um, limiting myself. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I think a lot of mistakes that artists make is that they say they only want to do. Let's say, for example, a huge genre at the moment is I'm a piano. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they say they only want to do that. Yeah. That that's very limiting. Yeah. Because there are so many other genres out there yeah. that might actually um, spark joy. Yeah. And you're not even trying it. Exactly. Uh, which is why for me, when I used to give singing lessons, mm. I would um, make sure that every single student would sing every single genre. Ah. They might not like country. Yeah. They might not like gospel music. But I would make yeah. them choose one song in each um, genre so yes. that they could at least experience it. That's amazing. Because I think it grows you as it a does. musician, um, as a vocalist yeah. as well. You're going to get better because every single genre brings something different vocally. Yeah, and I think for myself personally, I'll never know if I enjoy it unless I give it a try. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love that. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much for answering these questions. No Guys, I hope you learned something from uh, this Q&A with Gia. Yeah. And if you'd like to ask her anything else, please ask us in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.